The table shows the magnitudes of the earthquakes that have occurred in the past 10 years. Use the frequency distribution to construct a histogram. Does the histogram appear to be skewed? If so, identify the type of skewness. Okay, so um, this is a multiple choice question, so we don't actually have to be perfect in our graph. So let me show you how to give a rough sketch of a histogram. So you come over here, we'll draw the axes like this. And uh, we have some numbers here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They all seem to have that, so let's go ahead and do it the way they're doing it. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now you're supposed to use class boundaries here, which these are not class boundaries, these are class limits. Um, so we're being a little sloppy, but um, that's okay. So between 5 and 5.9, we have roughly 12 frequencies. So we need to make some type of scale here. So I'm going to do 5, 10, 15. Okay. So let's see. So between 5 and 5.9, we're at 12. So maybe we're up here. Okay. And then between 6 and 6.9, we're at 14. So maybe we're here. And between 7 and 7.9, we're at 8, so maybe we're down over here. Um, between 8 and 8.9, we're at 4, so we're down over here. And between 9 and 9.9, .9, we're roughly at 2. So you actually don't have to go through the drawing. You can just kind of look at the choices and pick the best choice. I kind of wanted to do it by hand, though, so you see how to actually draw it on, on, on paper. So it looks very similar to A. Let me scroll down here. Um, yeah, I believe it's going to be A, so let's try it. Good job. All right. The histogram is blank, so the distribution of the data is blank. So we have some choices here. Okay, so this is asking about skewness. So let me explain this. So basically, if you have a histogram that starts small, gets big, and gets small again, and it's roughly balanced, it's called normal. Okay. Now, whenever the skinny part, which is called the tail, if the tail is to the left, like this, it's called skewed left. So because this is the tail. So tail to the left, skewed left. If the tail is to the right, so like this, it's called skewed right. So this is the tail. So tail to the left, skewed left. Tail to the right, skewed right. So in this case, the tail is to the right, so it's going to be skewed right. So it's skewed wherever the tail is, okay? So in this case, the histogram has a longer right tail, right? It has a longer right tail, so the distribution of the data is skewed to the right. Let's try it. And that's it. I hope that made sense.